Alrighty, Tim. After the market's poor reaction to the 4080 and 7900 XT, do you think Nvidia and AMD will continue to increase pricing for GPUs in the lower tiers? I think this is something you've talked mm-hmm. about recently. Yep. Also, how much do you think the lower tier cards should cost and how much performance should they deliver? So this is, again, I think something you've recently touched on in a, a cost per frame video. Yeah, the cost per frame and GPU pricing updates, we always like to sort of look at the current, where things currently are, because mm-hmm. that really gives you an idea of what should be happening next up, mm-hmm. especially if you know you don't want to see a product launch at the same price to performance level as the current product, because you just wouldn't bother buying it. You may as well have just bought right now. Mm-hmm. Um, it's an interesting one because like the first part of the question talking about will they continue this sort of poor price to performance improvement sort of thing it's hard to say what they'll do because you know clearly the current strategy i would say isn't working but then do they have additional metrics that they're looking at to say like yeah actually the 4080 and 4070 ti was a huge success like i'm not sure but i would mm. think that based on those cards launching and really only the flagship models being in any de- demand, surely that would mean that they have to do something for future products. Surely. Like, yeah, surely I they know. can't just keep pushing out cards that no one wants. Uh, well, what alternative? If AMD's playing into the same strategy, it's like gamers are in denial for a bit, then they eventually just go, well, I really want a 4070 mm. Ti class card. It seems to me... Because we talked about this a while ago where they haven't got their memo that the, the mining boom is over and they can't charge yeah. excessive prices prices for GPUs. But it almost seems like the reason why we're seeing this in line with previous generation cost per frame is because, let's be honest, most gamers didn't buy a 3070. Most of them yeah. got snapped up by miners and you know they'll end up on the second-hand market, I guess, at some point in time or have been. So gamers didn't get to buy in to that generation or at least by and large, gamers didn't. So they're like, well, we're just going to keep that same price to performance from the generation you couldn't buy in and just have like a lag period there. Mm. So if you want a GPU now, you've sort of got to buy in at that cost per frame. And I think that hasn't worked because I think I, I think there are, are a percentage of buyers that maybe they didn't get the 4070, mm-hmm. or the 3070 tier, but they did buy something and that thing was really overpriced and now they've got no incentive of upgrading anytime soon. Because if you were thinking of buying a 3070 and then you could actually only buy like a 3060 or 3050 or whatever the card was, and then you bought that mm-hmm. and you went ahead with that purchase, then yeah, you're going to be burnt for a little bit there because it kind of, you didn't get a great value and you just spent a lot of money and you know, you're going to have to wait until the, yeah. the performance catches up. I think the issue is that the cards that we're talking about being launched in the next couple of periods are covering performance tiers that already exist. Like mm-hmm. there's really nothing stopping you from buying a product in the in the performance range we'd expect a $500 card to be, which is going to be potentially that, that, 3070 Ti, 3080 performance. Which is true right now, but by the time we get to that point in time, um, they will have hoped to have moved that inventory out. Sure, but and you then, can just buy a used GPU. Like there's nothing. Well, like you could. if you wanted a 4090, mm-hmm. you can't buy a used 4090. Like yeah, they're not, yeah. re- they don't really exist yet. You really did need to buy that new product. Mm. Whereas, yeah, not everyone wants to buy a used GPU, but they're pretty cheap now. Mm. Like they're not, and there's plenty of supply. Like if you want to buy a 3070 used, there are thousands of them being sold. So, yeah, that, that's like yeah, that strategy will certainly be less successful where the, yeah. at those price tiers where there are used alternatives. Yeah, so and I think as well, like people it, are so clued into performance now that if something kind of sucks in yeah. terms of price to performance, there's kind of like. Well, I'll just stick with what I've got. Yeah, there's going to be such a disconnect from the high end to the mid range if that's the case. Yeah, I agree. I think it's yeah, it's a difficult one for them because really what they have to do is make a car that's slightly slower but is way cheaper. Mm. Like that, they've kind of painted themselves into that corner a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be weird to see how that plays out. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure what they do there, but certainly, you know, in the cost per frame video, I was talking about how the next $500 GPU really needs to be offering like RTX 3080 12 gigabyte levels of performance, Mm -hmm. which when you sort of look at the data, it's marginally slower than a 4070 Ti, but significantly cheaper, which again, you know, it's not not something that I think these companies are going to be doing. Mm -hmm. But then again, if they're sitting on shelves for ages, then they're going to have no choice but to adjust prices. Like if there's no interest, no one's buying them, then something has to give there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah.